Oh my god, Darth, is this a VTuber channel now? No. I promise that this entire channel is just stream of consciousness. Hey bro, like we could talk about VTubers one day. We could talk about gaming one day. Hey bro, I, I talked about the fucking Cowboys one day and I was just cause I was pissed off. Stream of consciousness. Now I say that because one, the only reason why this particular video piqued my interest in the suggestions in the last video is that in this channel, we have reacted to Unravel more times than I think we've reacted to any song that we've ever listened to on this channel mostly because i always say that unravel is one of the hardest songs to cover and i'm always like genuinely interested to see how some people tackle this song as always i'm not talented or skilled enough to judge a person on how they tackle this song however it's fun to try so i say all that to say we're gonna watch this but next video prepare to be talking about a manga about a city that does doesn't actually exist or does actually exist as a city or it isn't we'll be talking about some fucky shit next video so be, be prepared for that so outside of that with all that being said welcome back to the channel your boy darth back at it again with another video today we are watching amane kant this name is not even hard to say. It's just that I see her name and I want to say Katana, but it's Kanata. So Amani Kanata, this is a cover of Unravel, as I said before. This seems to be a 3D live concert. So there may be a bit of dissonance that I feel because I don't really watch these kinds of concerts. I, I mean, I can't say that. Like I used to watch like the Hatsune Miku and like Vocaloid concerts back when I was like a teenager. So I can't really talk much, but this is very not weird to me, but it, it, this is going to take a while for me to completely get used to see. So if you haven't already subscribed, like, comment, all that other stuff, if you're just a lurker, I appreciate you too. If you have any requests, whether it be more Amane Kanata or some totally different, the best place to send that in is always my social media. Link's going to be in the description below. And if you would, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter and all that other stuff. You, you get it. <laughs> let's get the headphones on and let's get into it. We'll see you there, we'll see you. Fuck. You're stopping it already? Yeah, fuck you. I want to say this real quick. As I said before, the interesting thing about this song is how difficult I find it to cover. That first part is always the, like the first marker for me, right? And I, I like the way that she kind of handled this because usually in, in, in the original, you know, that first like 10 seconds of the song is not as melodic, right? It's more like he's talking. And if you read the lyrics like and then he's talking right and she took a more melodic uh, approach to it just not me saying that it's bad i actually like it i think it's really cool i just found it interesting that she tackled it differently than i thought she would so we're gonna run it back so you can get the full effect and then we'll actually listen to the song <laughs> that's crazy as a bitch my fucking headphones just died all right, bro. Now we're actually going to watch, listen to the song because a nigga headphones decided to commit seppuku midway through the beginning of the song. So let's now we'll actually listen to the song. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> this shit's so fire. That shit is so fire, dog. Oh, hold on. I should also say this shit's like live. Like, <laughs> yeah, this shit, this shit seems to be like live. So that's also impressive. <laughs> You got a really good vibrato. That was surprisingly deep, goddamn. Yeah, 
hear me out. Very hard song to cover. Keep this in mind. Second off, it's live. <laughs> now, I don't know the ins and outs of these 3D live concerts. I know that they're like streamed somewhere, like YouTube or some shit. I know they're like streamed. I know they are simulated live concerts, but for her, this shit is live as fuck, right? This, at least I can only assume, right? Like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I know the ins and outs of idol culture in hollow live or vtubers whatever but this shit at least to me is live as fuck to her so when you're tackling a song that's this fucking hard to tackle i don't expect a jesus christ i just moved my entire camera i don't expect for the singer to sound like studio quality we in this bitch mixing and mastering the voice no right you expect it to sound live as fuck right and for her to tackle this song live as fuck and sound this good impressive than a bitch which i'm not gonna lie to you very impressive <laughs> Also, what I was gonna say is that her vibrato is had to have, had to have trained the fuck out of that. Hold on. Wait, wait. That, that to me is like, I... And I want you to understand, live as fuck. I mean, like, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I was half asleep. Listen, full disclosure, starting this video, boop to hit record, I was like half asleep, dog. Fully awake, live as fuck. All right, bro, that's... Damn, that, okay, wow. Genuine question. How long do you have to train your lungs in order to do this? Or is that just a God-given talent? Like, I, I just, like, that's a genuine question. That's not for, that's not like me just padding for the video or anything. No, I just genuinely wanna know, how long do you have trained your voice? How insane of training does your lungs have to go through in order to be able to do that? Or, or like, was it, was that one part just like, makes it mastered or enhanced in some way i, I don't know i'm genuinely just asking because that that's that's fucking insane to me oh my god love the love the strings I such a great appreciation for vocals. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm supposed to be reacting, I'm supposed to be pausing it. YouTube don't fucking, don't block this. Oh my God. Sorry, I, this is insane. That's crazy, dog. That's like crazy to me, bro. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. I know exactly what I want to talk about when it comes to this video and it has nothing to do with music. I'm going to be completely real with you as I'm going to take my fucking shoes off for this just because getting crisscross applesauce. I just want to talk to you real quick. 
Oh, it has very little to do with music, but let me explain something. So first of all, fantastic song. Unravel is a, it's a banger, all right? Unravel is an absolute fucking classic. And tackling this song, as I've said plenty of times in this video, is very difficult. At least to me, it seems like one of the hardest songs to tackle. Now, put all that together and look at it from a perspective, not as somebody who is, you know, watching a video of some anime girl cover an anime song for some anime fans. Don't look at it like that, right? I want you to put yourself in the place of a fan in that moment. I want you to look at this from the POV of a fan in that moment that is watching this 3D live. Now, as I said before, I don't really know the ins and outs on how this stuff works. I'm not going to pretend that I know how these live streams work. However, I'm going to assume that this is a simulated concert for people who are very much huge fans of this particular talent. This was a fantastic cover, right? I'm gonna outright say this. Are these the most insane, groundbreaking, oh my God, I've never heard anybody sing like this vocals I've ever heard? No, right? Like crazy amounts of vocals, right? Fantastic. But I say all that to say is that from a fan's perspective, in that moment, this has to be one of the greatest, like at least internet moments for you. Do you know how hype as a fan you have to be in this situation? Bro, this has to be like in their like internet archive for the rest of their life. If I were to look at this from like a super fan's perspective, like this is my God, if it sounds amazing to me, I can't imagine being in that live as like a super fan of this specific talent or just a fan of Hollow Live in general. This had to be momentous for a lot of people. And that right there is the reason why this is, channel is so stream of consciousness. When you put yourself in the shoes of somebody who really, really enjoys this stuff, you can see why they enjoyed it so much. And when you can see why somebody enjoys something like an art form so much, it brings a, not a better, but a different or a new source of enjoyment for yourself. It just gives you a different perspective. I love that. So now when I think about it uh, in that way, it just gives me a new appreciation. That's the best way to put it. it gives me a new appreciation for this music, uh, this this company, you know, these talents and stuff. It's just a new appreciation. This is just really cool. That's what I'm trying to say. So with all that being said, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. If you're just a lurker, I appreciate you too. Go on Discord, all the other YouTube stuff. Y'all stay amazing. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. We'll hop into that weird shit next video.